Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to create trial elements data set for a example study which is of parallel design in which there are three arms. So let us go to the concept description of trial elements first. So in a clinical trial, the entire duration of expected participation can be split into several distinct periods of time. So these distinct periods of time are called elements. An element may involve treatment or no treatment. So treatment elements involve treating the subjects with one of the study drugs say for example if we are investigating a drug A so we will call that investigational drug and at the same time we will be administering a matching control for other group of subjects the control can be of active type or placebo so in the for example for active control is to give them a existing marketed product or existing standard of care and then there can be elements which correspond to no treatment so some examples of elements which include no treatment are preparing a subject for treatment so that is examining the subjects uh, for before starting the treatment so we call it a screening element and then there can be a requirement wherein we may have to wash out any prior treatment the subject was exposed to and we call it as wash out and then we may observe the patients for a certain period of time after the end of the study treatment so and we call it as follow-up so we have elements corresponding to treatment and we have elements corresponding to no treatment some examples of no treatment are screening washout and follow-up and then a subject's journey in the trial can thus be described as a combination of these elements so SDTM standard has a data set named trial elements which is used to describe all possible elements within a study. So the expected record structure for TE domain is one record per planned element. So what information is typically collected or presented in trial design trial elements data set is the study identifier, the domain name, the element code which is an abbreviation for the each of the elements that we will have in that study and then a description of that element and then we will describe the rule for start of that element and similarly we define the rule for end of each element and then we also present the planned duration of each element so essentially in trial elements data set we will be identifying all the distinct periods of time and then presenting one record per each planned element in trial elements data set. We will now see the description for this lesson. So we will be creating trial elements data set for a study which involves screening period and then treatment period and then follow up period. So within the treatment period, so as discussed in the title, so this study has three different arms. So in the first arm, the, we are testing 300 mg given uh, twice a week of drug CSG801. And in the second arm, we are testing 600 mg of CSG801 given twice in a, uh, once in two weeks. And then we are comparing our 300 mg and 600 mg of CSG801 with our placebo. So overall if we take three random subjects so a subject could be in screening element or period of time which correspond to treatment or a subject could be in a period of time when he or she is taking 300 mg or he or she is taking 600 mg or he or she is taking placebo or a subject could be in follow-up phase so the entire course of participation in the clinical trial is divided into three distinct periods of screening, treatment and follow-up. But within a treatment based on the arm to which he or she is assigned to, the period could be corresponding to 300 mg, 600 mg or placebo. So basically this study has four weeks of screening, 
and 12 weeks of treatment of 300 mg of CHG801 or 600 mg of CHG801 or placebo given every two weeks and then we have three weeks of follow-up so we now have how many unique elements or periods of time so one is screening and the second one is for 300 mg exposure the third one is 600 mg of exposure and the fourth one is period of time for placebo and then period of time for follow-up so note that as this study design is parallel so screening and follow-up is available or possible for all subjects but if a subject is allocated to 300 mg in the period of time for treatment for that subject will be only 300 mg and the, that subject will not have 600 mg or placebo corresponding period of time so now let us see how we actually create trial elements data set so there can be different approaches but we will see one of the simplest approach of creating trial elements so let us see what is mentioned in the specification so here if we see so we have some general notes given so it says there will be no formal specification for trial design domains unlike our other events interventions or findings domains so we'll have to rely on the information present in the protocol and then create our trial elements data set so we are being asked to take a look at the lesson description for the study design so which we have already seen so we have seen that overall four or five distinct periods of time is possible and then we will create one row for each of those periods of time or elements so how do we create it so let us now see how we actually create the trial elements data set so again there can be different approaches on how we create trial elements data set so some prefer creating the trial element structure in an excel file and writing a program to import that data set and then apply some attributes to the variables but while others prefer creating the trial element stat within a sas program so we'll see the second approach in this case so here what we are doing here is we are creating our rows for each of the trial elements possible by manually assigning the text for each of those things and then outputting each of the records so we have seen that we will require the variables of study id domain element code element start rule and end rule and the plan duration so we are assigning the text csg801 to the study id variable and then assigning the te which is the abbreviation for trial elements to the domain variable and then we are creating a, a row here for our trial element status uh, screening element so the first one is for screening so we are using an abbreviation of scrn for etcd and then the, we are describing the element with the name of screening and then we are saying that the start rule for the screening element begins when the subject signs the informed consent and when does screening end so screening when screening assessments are complete or up to four weeks after start of the element so maximum of four weeks or until all the screening assessments are complete so what is the planned duration for screening so at max it is four weeks so p is for period and four is the number and w stands for week so this is how we represent duration in iso 8601 notation so we'll have to use iso 8601 duration notation when creating tedur variable and then we are outputting that record so we'll have the record outputted for screening element when the code is executed this line of code so as a just programming check so what i'm doing is after outputting all this record i'm setting some of the variable values to null so that if i tend to uh, not assign the values for any of the, these things so these may get retained from the previous element to the next element so i'm intentionally setting them to null and then we are creating our second element so the second possible element out of the treatment period was that a subject could be taking 300 mg 
dos so we are creating an element with the name of csg 300 300 for that and we are using an element description of csg 801 300 mg q2w so q2w stands for once in every two weeks and then the start rule for this element of csg 300 is the first dose of csg 801 where dose is 300 mg and then what is the end rule for this so the as per the protocol so treatment period lasts for 12 weeks so we have to we are specifying the end rule for the CAG 300 element as the 12 weeks after start of the element so whereas chart is described as taking the first dose of CAG 801 where the dose is 300 mg and then the plan duration for this element is 12 weeks so we are indicating it in ISO 8601 notation of P12W and then outputting that record to our data set and then we are defining our next element which is 600 mg of CAG801 so we are using an abbreviation of CAG600 for that element and then we are using the text CAG801 600 mg Q2W for this element and then the start rule for this element is first dose of CSG801 but the dose is 600 mg and then we know that this treatment also lasts for 12 weeks so for the subjects who are assigned to 600 mg arm so they will be taking 600 mg for 12 weeks so we are defining the duration here and then outputting the record and then we have the next element where the subject could be taking placebo so we are using an abbreviation of PBO for the element code and then we are describing the element text with placebo Q2W and what is the start rule for this element so the day or the time when they take the first dose of placebo and then similar to CSG 300 and 600 so this is also expected to last for 12 weeks so the end rule for this is 12 weeks after start of the element and then we are specifying the plan duration in TEDUR variable and then outputting that record and then we are creating our follow-up element so we are using an abbreviation of FU in ATCD variable and the text follow-up in element variable and then the start rule for follow-up element is one day after the last dose of study drug so after the last dose of any of the possible treatments of 300 mg 600 mg or placebo so one day after that last dose of study drug is when our follow-up period starts when when does follow-up end so it ends after three weeks of start of the element so which means three weeks after last dose of study drug so as the duration is three weeks so we are indicating in iso 8601 notation with the value of p3w and then outputting that record so technically what we have done we have created a row for each of the possible elements here in the same order in which they are expected to occur so as this is a parallel arm study so we know that a subject could be passing through 300 mg alone or 600 mg or placebo but not mix any of these three elements which correspond to a treatment but screening element and follow-up element is common for all the subjects irrespective of the arm which they belong to so this is how you can create your trial elements data set based on the information of the study design aspects found in the trial elements protocol trial elements uh, specified in the protocol so let us take a quick look at the output data set that gets generated when we execute this code so we have one record created for each of the possible elements so how many elements were possible so we had five elements possible so the first element was screening and the three elements corresponding to each of the possible treatment arms are 300 mg 600 mg and placebo element and then follow-up element which is common for all the subjects so this is how we can create our trial elements data set thank you for watching and keep learning